All right, hello everybody, it is I, Grant Wright, and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald with our Gen 3 type challenge of Ghost Type. Sorry, pause for <laughs> dramatic effect. Still leveling up um, our EV training, Haunter, Sableye, and Mischievous. But we're going to be going up to Mount Chimney. Alright. Up we go. So we are getting uh, close to our next gem, which is Fire-type, and we have one Pokemon that we don't want to use at all in the Fire-type gem, and that is Shedinja. It gets breathed on in there, and it will go down. We did, if you don't remember, at the end of last episode, got Psychic for Mischievous by buying it from the game corner. Um, the other move that we really wanted from there was Thunderbolt, but we get that after we fight Norman, so we might as well just wait. Um, let's see if we can hypnotize there and secret power here. Nice. All right. Good job, Haunter. St only Pokemon we still need to level up to level, um... Twenty nine Haunter. We're going to fight Tabitha here. We would like Haunter to fight the Camel Rep in the next fight, but that Camel Rep does no. Oh, what? Haunter can't be affected by ground type attacks. It's got Levitate. Oh. I think we'll be fine. I forget that at times. We have two Pokemon that have Levitate. But I think Mischievous also has it. Alright, for the Puchietta, we'll swap over to Sableye. So we get a lot of experience for Haunter here. I don't have to worry about that Camel Rupt. Figure out! Critical hit, knockout, fake out. Oh yeah. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's go back to Haunter. Thief. So the only thing that that Camel Rep can hurt us with then is Ember. Which is awesome. So let's Super Potion, and let's swap up Sableye to start things. Alright, 
Starting out with a fake out. Um, let's, let's see, he dropped our attack, so let's Nightshade. And we can't have our accuracy drop, so, very nice. <laughs> Very good. Good. Uh, we're going to send out Mischievous to get to this Zubat because Mischievous has 30 speed EVs, and so 32 would get it to that divisible by four number that we are always looking for. Uh, and we have a brand new Psychic, so let's use that. And then Camel Rupt, we will go over to Haunter. Can we put it to sleep? No. Can we put it to sleep? No. Can we put it to sleep? And then we're gonna drop a curse on it. And then we're going to heal. That gets Haunter up to 29. mischievous to the next fight without the um macho brace just again to get those evs up to an even divisible by four number Alright, so we should swap Psychic up front. Because that's going to be Mischievous' Mr. big move that's going to keep through the entire game. Uh, ball toy. We'll just keep Mischievous out for Ball toy. Dropped our speed. All right, so let's swap Shedinja up. Let's 
see if we can get it leveled up. Because, like I said, if there's anyone we don't want to use in the next gym, it's Shedinja. Hmm. That didn't quite take it out. Okay, Odor sleuthed us. It didn't bite us. Pretty risky Pokemon here to be sending Shedinja out against. Got it. Nice. But Shedinja does have like a 90 attack stat right now, which is pretty high for level 29. Oh, goodbye. You like to try again with the Shroomish? Shedinja and Haunter do this next fight. No leveling up in this episode, so we're just going to go straight into the gym. Let's actually just dig with you. Got it. Just got the last fight here with a zigzag goon and a Talo. And there goes the zigzag goon, and out comes the Talo. And drop. Okay. So that's a zoom. In we go. We're going to swap up Haunter. And then we're going to put Mischievous second.
feel like we're going to be over leveled for like every gym that's left in the game if we just take on those trainers that we usually do. Which I'm going to do because it's not my fault. The game's fault. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Schmaug. Next, we have a double battle. This might level up Haunter, actually. Which, if it does, it does. Schlagma. Almost took down the Nummel with a Psychic. We'll just go in with another Psychic. Didn't get to level up on Haunter, which is actually good. I didn't want to get level up on Haunter in this fight. I'm going to get in the next fight. Now, I don't know who was going first. Was Haunter or was Mischievous going first? We'll just take down the Numble and that'll let me know. Okay, so Mischievous is going first. Good level up for Haunter. A whole bunch of special attack in that stat. So we're going to... Psychic Thief. Because Psychic will do some good damage and turn it into Psychic type. And then we'll Thief it, which will be super effective. Next we have a Slugma, and then we have a Metatite. So we're going to swap Shedinja up, I believe. Yes. Because I think we can take a Slugma out in a single hit. Doesn't have the best stats, that Pokemon. That's not a Slugma. But we still took it out. Excellent. Alright, let's slippity swap up Sableye. So there's two more trainers, one with a Slugma and then one with a Metatite.
Break out. Rock tomb. All right, let's get into the final fight in here. Then we're going to go heal. Let's scratch. Or we'll skip two turns. Three turns. They got a triple detect. That's ridiculous. Get out of here. Alright, so... Flannery starts with a Nummel. Yeah. Let's go heal. Let's hand out a couple Rost Berries. Actually, let's give you the Macho Brace. And we'll give you a Rost Berry. We're going to start out with Mischievous up front. All right, here we go. Everybody knows overheat, so that's the main thing we need to worry about. Overheat. Mischievous is our best special defender, but even the overheat in the sun is going to hurt. That didn't do that much damage. Let's just take this time to drop a potion. Because it's going to do less. Alright, we take it down with a Psychic. Are we trying to learn Psybeam? We have Psychic. Well, I guess I didn't give the Macho Brace to Mischievous. Alright, we're going to swap over to Sableye so we can get it up to level 30 like everybody else. And we missed the Rock Tomb. Excellent. Puts up a light screen. And we missed the Rock Tomb. Excellent. Let's send out Haunter here and see if Haunter can put it to sleep. That would be ideal because then we'll run out the sun. It's already had two turns done. Nice. This is turn three.
drop a curse on it. Excellent. All right, now we're going to swap over to Mischievous. And that should run the sunlight out. All right, we're going to confuse it while it's asleep because we're really mean. Mainly, we're just setting up for which he heals it because uh, Flannery's probably going to heal this thing a bunch. Still asleep, sleepy camel. Oh, she didn't, so it just goes down, which means that we only have to worry about the Torkoal's overheat. Once the Torkoal gets past its overheats, it can't hurt us anymore. We're going to fake it out and get a free turn. There's a good chance Sableye just goes down to an overheat. Good critical hit. No speed drop. He survives. Okay, the sun was not up. The only way we, we survive another one, though, is if we got back up to, like, full health. Because we'll be nine down if I use a po soda pop. Maybe if it's a good range, we'll survive. Oh, we do! And now it's special attack has dropped a bunch. So it's used two of them. Look at that. Look at that. That's three. Okay, you tracked us. Fine. Whatever. So we still got two more. And she's going to heal it a ton. What does Torkoal give? Is it two defense? It does. I mean, she's going to heal it. You should, did it miss that overheat? So that's its last one. At this point, we're just waiting to hit it. So I'm just going to speed this along. Because it was all just the attract. When was the attract going to let us swing? It could not hurt us anymore at that point. All right, we get the go-go goggles. We're gonna heal up. And for some reason, I didn't have the Macho Brace on someone. Uh, who do we... All right, let me give this Macho Brace to Mischievous. We're going to swap Shedinja up nonetheless. Because we don't want to use Shedinja in the um, Cocoa Desert because it'll just go down to a sandstorm. 
So we're going to try to get it to level up here with these fights up here. Secret power! Get it, get it. Wabam! So 31 is the target for the next gem. We'll easily be able to get that. There are plenty of fights between here and there. I mean, enough. Because we have the trick house, we have the couple fights up here, and we have the desert. I did pick up that nugget, right? Yeah. Meryl and Geodude. So we need Shedinja to watch out because of rollout and because of uh, rock attacks from Geodude. So we'll just dig under the ground. Good deal. Psychic. See if we can get Honor and Sableye and Mischievous leveled up off the stuff in the desert. We don't need Toxic for anybody. The desert. Lots of defense, which means Sableye. We all don't need Rost Berries anymore.
So remember, we are not using Shedenja here. It will just get chipped down by the sandstorm and be done. Um, what's just nightshade? If we were to um, fake out, I mean, it's just another turn of chip damage by the sandstorm. So, which is that's why we just instead <laughs> nightshade. But it looks like oh, this sand shrew. Oh, I wanted to switch, and I didn't. Sableye's having a bad time. <laughs> Mainly because of uh, the poison. All right. Let's give the Macho Brace over to you. And then we want to Petcha Berry. And Soda Pop. Alright. Swap up Mischievous. Got two ball toys and a sand shrew. Swap over to Sableye. Uh, yay! Stupid frickin' sand veil. And we're speed tied, I guess. Just trying to take down a sand shrew. Keep swapping this Macho Brace around. We're going to try to take out this last <clears throat> Sandshrew before we go heal. Let's get it, get it. Now this one will fake out because it's got a lot. It's probably going to have a bit more HP than the level 21 ones. So I don't think I'll take it out in a single hit or into um, Nightshades like I did the other ones. Did some pretty good damage though. Uh, 
Poor Sableye. And it's faster. Let's go heal. And then let's swap up Haunter. remember we just did we've already leveled up um sableye which is good so we'll get haunter here and then we'll get mischievous and haunter in the next double battle thief nice Oh, I definitely wanted to switch, and I didn't. Hmm. Well, boo. That was my fault. I get so button-happy sometimes, I just spam some stuff. damage poison thing should be the only thing sand slash can deal can damage haunter with all right well we are definitely going to level up haunter and mischievous in the next double battle Sandshrew and a Meryl. So let's Thief there and Shockwave here. Good deal. Haunter is trying to learn Confuse Ray. 
I don't think we were luring Confused Ray for Haunter on its final move set. We were not. Psychic into the Lombre. Good damage. Earthquake. That will miss us all? No, it's going to hit miss. Well, unless that's Sand Slash. Yeah, we don't get hit by Earthquake. That literally just damaged your own team. Good deal. See you on this last trainer. Even with the evasion, it would probably go down to the sandstorm. But we really just want this big bunch of attack for Sableye. With all of the... With the moving of the Macho Brace, we're actually getting pretty close to getting Haunter EV trained, which is awesome. You harden away. We'll just skip your defenses and just do a set 31 damage. Must not have a move that can hurt us because it hasn't tried to do anything. We'll spray another one because I don't want to run into something here that I have to fight. Let's swap Shedinja up. Get through the bike path so we can go do the trick house. Mm -hmm. 
Now we need to be careful in here because I think this one does have a hiker. But before we get to the hiker, we can... This Kecleon could know something that could get us, though. We're going to find out, aren't we? There it is! Are you strong enough to take down a Geodude? Yes. Um, we will probably swap though for the nose pass and the graveler over to Sableye. I don't know if Shedinja's strong enough to get them. I'm not gonna risk that. Anywho, with no or with Sableye still having the Macho Brace on, it can get a bunch of experience. Power. Probably gonna need a bit more experience to level up. Like a fight, it looks like. We get the hard stone. Let's go level up Shedinja really fast. Just like that. Try to more confuse Ray. I think we like our current move set though right now. So I think like Shedinja is gonna get Shadow Ball at some point, and I think we're gonna teach it Aerial Ace as well. Um is the plan and uh mischievous will get pain split and calm mind and then gengar will get um thunderbolt and dream eater and sableye's gonna get brick break and shadow ball fake out and i forget what its last move was Oh, was it? We were going to teach it Confuse Ray. Has it tried to learn Confuse Ray yet? It is not. It doesn't learn that until level 37. All right. So let's get over to Petalburg and we'll end the episode there. Off to Dewford. And then off to Petalburg. Alright. So our we will have our streams tomorrow like normally scheduled. They'll probably be a little earlier. Because um, I do have to go into the office early for an event. So we'll get them started a little earlier than what we normally do. But we'll get our two episodes in. Um, but we will be back tomorrow with more Pokemon. Where we will be taking on... Norman, and then making our way up to um, 
Forgery and taking on Winona. Alright, and so we're going to end the episode here, like I said. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll see you next time.